Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Aglosane Schools. Today we will be discussing the question and answer of chapter 14 of science in CERT that is electric current and its effects. So before we begin with the question and answer of this chapter, let us discuss a bit about it first. In this chapter, you must have studied about different symbols we use to represent wires, bulbs, position of the switches. Also, you got to know about the magnetic and heating effects of the electric current and how it affects things around us. So let us get started with the question and answer of this chapter. Our first question is, draw in your notebook the symbols to represent the following components of electric circuits, connecting wires, switch in off position, bulb, cell, switch in on position and battery. For this, we have already drawn the required symbols of the things being asked in the question. Connecting wires represented by a straight line, switch by a broken line slightly tilted upwards, bulb by bulge with a curl on straight line. The fourth one is a cell with two T's facing each other where one on the right side is shorter. Switch on position is shown by the broken line being joined by placing another line at the top and lastly as battery by way of a collection of cells. So now just take a note of this and draw the same on your notebook. Our second question is, Draw the circuit diagram to represent the circuit shown in the figure. In the image, we have a bulb, a battery and a safety pin. Battery and bulb are connected, further bulb and safety pin are in connection, but the battery is not connected to safety pin. So the safety pin represents a switch that is in off position. This makes it an open circuit. So the circuit diagram of this is to be drawn is something like this. We have a bulb, a cell, connecting wire and an open switch here. Moving to our next question, which is question 3. Figure shows four cells fixed on a board. Draw lines to indicate how you will connect their terminals with wires to make a battery of four cells. To make it a battery of four cells, we need to connect the negative terminal of the cell to the positive terminal of the cell. And to connect opposite terminals of the cells, we need a wire. After connecting them, your battery will look like this. Question number 4 is, the bulb in the circuit shown in figure does not glow. Can you identify the problem? Make necessary changes in the circuit to make the bulb glow. On careful study of the diagram, we can see that both the cells of the battery are connected to the same terminal, positive to positive, which is wrong. The bulb will glow when the negative terminal of the cell is connected to the positive terminal of the other cell. So we need to change the position of the cells to make the bulb glow as done in the diagram shown. Coming to question 5 which says, name any two effects of electric current. The first effect is heating effect of electric current. When an electric current flows through a wire, the wire gets heated. It is because of the heating effect of electric current. Also, when an electric current flows through a wire, it behaves like a magnet. So the second effect is magnetic effect of the electric current. Question number 6 is, when the current is switched on through a wire, a compass needle kept nearby gets deflected from its north-south position. Explain. As discussed in the above question, when an electric current flows through a wire, it starts behaving like a magnet. So when we place a compass needle nearby the wire through which the electric current is passed, due to magnetic effect of the wire, the position of the needle starts deflecting from north-south position. Our next question is question number 7 which says, Will the compass needle show deflection when the switch in the circuit shown by the figure is closed? Needle will show deflection only when wire will show magnetic effect. And a wire will show magnetic effect only when electric current is passed through it. As the circuit shown is an open circuit and even if we close the circuit, since there is no battery or cell attached to the circuit, no current will pass through the wires and no magnetic effect will be shown by the wires. Hence, there will be no deflection of the compass needle. Coming to question 8, that is filling the blanks. First is, longer line in the symbol represents positive terminal. Second is, the combination of two or more cells is called dash. It is called a battery. Third, when current is switched on in a room heater, it dash. It will produce heat because of the heating effect. Fourth, the safety device based on the heating effect of electric current is called a dash. It is called a fuse. Our next question is true or false. First, to make a battery of two cells, the negative terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the other cell. This statement is false. To make a battery, opposite terminals of the cell should be connected. Second, when the electric current through the fuse exceeds a certain limit, the fuse wire melts and breaks. This statement is true. Third, an electromagnet does not attract a piece of iron. 
an electromagnet do attract a piece of iron because of the magnetic effect so this statement is false fourth an electric bell has an electromagnet this is true our next question is question number 10 that is do you think an electromagnet can be used for separating plastic bags from a garbage heap explain we know that plastic bag is a non-magnetic material and will not be attracted by any electromagnet Electromagnet can only attract metals with magnetic properties like iron pieces. So an electromagnet cannot be used for separating plastic bags from a garbage heap. Our next question is question number 11 which says, An electrician is carrying out some repairs in your house. He wants to replace a fuse by a piece of wire. Would you agree? Give reasons for your response. A fuse filament must have a low melting point such that it could melt and break in response of large amount of current. In comparison to that, wires have high melting points, so the wire cannot be used as a fuse filament. The electrician should not be allowed to replace the fuse in the house by a piece of wire. Our next question is question number 12 that is, Zubeda make an electric circuit using a cell holder shown in the figure, a switch and a bulb. When she put the switch in the on position, the bulb did not glow. Help Zubeda in identifying the possible defects in the circuit. In this figure, we are provided with two cells that have been connected in a cell holder using a rubber band. The first possible defect can be the rubber band. Rubber band used in the cell holder may not be tight enough to keep the two cells in contact with each other. As we know, if the cells are not in proper contact with each other, the circuit will not be complete and current will not flow through the circuit. Hence, the bulb will not glow. The second reason may be, as it is not clear which terminal have been connected to each other, we may check the negative terminal of one cell is actually connected to the positive terminal of the other cell. On rectification of these two things, it's probable that bulb will glow. And now our last question, that is question 13. In the circuit shown in figure, would any of the bulb glow when the switch is in the off position? No, none of the bulbs will glow when the switch is in off position. If there is any flow of current through the circuit, then only the bulb will glow. Next part of this question is, what will be the order in which the bulbs A, B and C will glow when the switch is moved to the on position? They all will glow at the same time because they all are connected to the same battery and switch. So all the bulbs will glow at once when the switch is turned on. So this is all for this chapter, electric current and its effect. In case you have any doubts related to questions discussed, feel free to get back to us by writing in the comment section below. For such informative videos of other chapters, keep browsing uglasame.com. Thank you.